Okay, so this is Mr. Alabama. He's got some tree debris, and this morning, Fantasy and him were digging and having a heyday in the yard. So um, it was a little wet. So I'm gonna show you with a puppy. Um, he could get excited. Um, this would be good for everyone to see blowing out a younger dog if he decides to get a little excited on the table. Again, he's connected to the groomer's helper. And I like to put one hand on the dog, especially the younger dog. Ooh, we're shedding. Um, I like to always have a hand on the dog. So we're gonna start here. As you guys can see, I didn't have to do a fantasy, but she really enjoys being groomed. <laughs> Even a puppy would blow and a roll a little over here. So as you can see, Alabama is very good on the table, but um, and you probably noticed when I was blowing on the legs and here in the inner thigh area, this coat is shorter, so you can get closer with your dryer. When the coat gets longer, you want to get a little further away. So I always keep my dryer perpendicular to the body. I never do this, I never do this, I do this. So the other thing I do is I also take off the nozzle and just have a light air when I'm drying the head. But today we're just doing blowing out your Sammy. So this is how to blow out the Sammy prior to any bathing. Um, you wanna get out this loose coat before you wash and shampoo and condition your coat. So that's it. We'll get big, big Miss Sassy out next. <laughs>